a lot of people have been asking me if the replay glitch still works for console, so that's why we're gonna find Ram dude, we're gonna give him a heist, and we're gonna it's gonna tell us if he gets the money in the end. So let's see if it's anyone who's random joins us, I will be back once a random has joined me. Two thousand years later. Okay, it seems we got a player. He's level eight, so that's perfect for my intentions here. This guy's gonna get so much money, hopefully, and I'm gonna keep my heist. And yeah, I told him to tell me in the chat here if it works or not. Hopefully, he knows each what he's doing. So you know, that's like my biggest issue here is like if he messes up here. But I'm gonna try to carry him as much as I can. So no worries about that. Weapon loadout, we got the suppressors. Make sure of that every time. I met this one dude. He had done like all of the preps here. He even did all like six of the approach vehicles. And then he didn't get suppressors. <laughs> he did all the preps, all the disruption preps. All the approach vehicle preps. Of course, you only need to do one approach vehicle. This dude had done all of the six approach vehicles. It was his first heist, I can tell it by the cutscene. But still, he did all of the approach vehicles and he didn't get suppressors. Like, what? So, now that you're in the heist, we need to first collect the key card and then the key. The reason we are getting the key cards is because we are two players here on console. If you are on PC, you will get the money as the host, but if you're on console, as I said earlier, you will not get the money as the host. The players in your house, they will get the money, but as the host, you will not get the money yourself. So that's the other way. Let's continue here. So that's why I'm taking out some of the guards here. I'm just waiting in this order because usually there are some connection issues with lag on consoles. That's why I'm having really big issues playing more on console because there's so much lag and disconnection issues with this heist, which is really bothering me. I hope Dogstar can fix this in the future, but for now, I don't think they're going to do that because whenever like, if we do a quick restart, I, usually my teammates just get disconnected. Or if I'm a teammate, I get disconnected from the host somehow. Maybe it's because of bad internet, but I don't think that's the actual... Now that you start a heist here, I just like to take out the guards on my way in case they drop a key card or a security key. And then I want to make my way over to the main office to get the second key card and also opening the safe when I get there. So this is the route I prefer to take here. This time I take out the guards in my, on my way here. And I also like to wait down here for this guard to come back if he's on the right side. If he just walked over to the side, I like to run up to behind him and then knock him out from his behind. And as you can see, I shot him this time, but like if he's right here and to the right where I'm currently, then I would have just knocked him out. And now to this guard here, and this guard that's standing here, I like to knock him out. The reason I'm not shooting him is because if I shoot him, the guard that is upstairs, he's usually hearing the bullet because he's standing really close to where I am when I'm shooting. He can actually hear you shoot him which is really annoying. That's why I just prefer to knock out these guards so no other guards accidentally hear the bullet or something. And knocking out usually is 100% safe as long as you know how we do it. You don't alert any other guards. So I would just suggest you guys just knock out the other guards with your gun, not your fist. Use your gun because the gun always one hits any enemy, no matter what kind of armor they are wearing. And now when I'm exiting here, I usually just like to jump down to the left here if there are, if there are no guards in the way. The reason I'm also doing this is because we have two gold bars in this room that's right next to me. And I saw that the coast was clear, so that, that's why I just went down here. And now I saw the, the Juggernaut was on his way here, so I had to make sure I took him out before he like spotted us and yielded our existence to the past, or something like that, before he killed us, that's what I'm trying to say here. And the reason I'm also opening this door here is because then my teammate can grab the gold while I'm hacking open the door to the primary target to save time. Because if, you, if, the, if your teammate is just running around while you're doing other stuff, then you didn't really give your teammate enough to do. So make sure your teammate al always has something he can do or get your sense on. And here I also showed him where he was like supposed to go afterwards because he was new to the heist. This was his first time doing the heist, actually. We realized after, uh, when, when we did the heist. So that's why I told him where to go afterwards so he could come here and open the door with me to the last gold bar. When I did the heist, I prefer to have the pink diamond and three gold bars. The reason is the gold bars are the best profitable item to get in the... Uh, this heist for secondary targets, so that's why I prefer to getting, getting the gold versus getting one of the other secondary targets as cash or artwork. And while I was finishing up the hack here, I realized my teammate was finished grabbing the gold, so that's why I just went to this store here, so we could open this and I can grab the gold while my teammate gets, gets the primary target to save time. Again, you want to do you want to do this as quickly as possible, so we can save as much time as possible. If you are Having issues in the beginning, it's just to do, do the heist sometimes, get the practice in, get your hours in the heist, I guess, so we know what's the optimal route for your heist. Of course, every heist is going to be different depending on where your loot is. So that's why I do, did this route today, because this seems as the fastest route in this current heist we did. Also, when you are getting the primary target, make sure that the bar goes all the way up and then all, almost all the way down. Or like, take the bar almost all the way up and then almost all the way down. This is proven to be the fastest method instead of like holding it steadily at one point. It's faster to just take it almost all the way up and then almost all the way down. 
And now I went to grab the final part of the secondary loot here. If you guys are wondering about if you're gonna get banned or wiped for doing this glitch, I don't think that's the case because this glitch has been around for years now with the Act 2 glitch, the Casino High Stripper glitch, and with the Pacific Standard even if you guys didn't know that. So I don't think you're gonna get wiped or banned from this. People have been doing this for years without getting banned. I've been doing this several times without getting banned. So I would say this is safe to do without getting banned or so. Of course, your moral reasons might, might say otherwise, but I would say this is a good way to avoid buying shark cards or anything like that. Also, while doing this size, consider doing the disruption preps if you're gonna keep doing the Reaper glitch, because if you accidentally go aggressive, it's easier to just shoot your way off than having to restart the highest because one of your teammates gets disconnected. But that's just my opinion, I guess. If you didn't know this, I do live streams every Monday and Friday, sometimes in the weekend as well, on both YouTube and Twitch. So if you're not tuned in for that, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell. If you have any questions you might want to ask me in the live streams or any features you want to see me add to the channel later. Also, if you have any other questions, consider joining my Discord server, link in the description. And let's move on here. When you are escaping, I want to. I usually take the bike here, but since we were two players today, I realized we, need we needed two bikes because I usually do this on PC. So that's why I realized we needed two vehicles. So because this guy was new here, I decided to take the car because he didn't really know where, where he was driving. So that's why I took the car. But of course, if you are playing with an experienced player, he will usually get the bike himself with no issues whatsoever. So you see, it was interesting taking the bike here, but I just thought, yeah, bro, just get in the car so we don't go in here where we shouldn't go and like not accidentally get detected here. And by the way, I know a lot of people likes to destroy the chopper of El Rubio, but I don't do that on this house because you're not really going to uh, get detected by the chopper anyways. It's just, it's just a waste of time and potentially blowing yourself up with a sticky bomb. So that's why I just go because the chopper won't really spot you anyways. And it's not really worth to blow up the chopper unless you go aggressive, of course, and your teammates are slow and or something and the chopper comes after you. Then consider throwing sticky bombs on and detonate it if the chopper comes like, close to you. And of course, I have three here, right as we were about to escape the um, island. Really annoying, if you ask me. But now, when, when you are in the water, just exit the car if it's possible. My character somehow didn't want to exit right away here. It took some time. But yeah, once you are in the water, just swim away from the compound in the shortest route possible. I like to swim here on the southwest part of the island. That's where I like to swim away from because that seems to be the shorter option for me. Then you want to swim straight away from the island and you are eventually going to finish the heist without getting detected, most likely. Of course, some choppers might come after you if you accidentally aggressive, but just swim further down the water and you shouldn't get destroyed. Also, it's nice, you know, if you want to, if you do the replay glitch, you actually keep the snacks as the host. So that's, a, I guess, a bonus. As you can see, we did escape here, and my teammate said he got around 2.8 million with the Elite Challenge. Oh, sorry, 1.8 million with the Elite Challenge from his heist, but now I'm going to tell you when you should close the game as the host. And I'm also going to show you that you actually kept the heist here. As you know, on console, as I said earlier, you don't get the money. And by the way, again, consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like this in the future, or the guys coming from here. But here's the part where you close the game. As soon as your character hands over the bag and you get that envelope, you want to just open the Xbox menu and close the game here. I was a bit late here. I usually just close it, I like have it ready, and then I close the game as soon as the bag is handed over or I collect the envelope. That's when I do it. But now let's fill up the game here and see that you actually kept the highest. Let me just fast forward this. And here, as you can see, once you walk up the stairs from the submarine, you can see that the heist is still here. I can still restart it if I want to. I'm not going to do it because I'm making this video. But yeah, if I wanted to, I can do this heist again. So change the spawn location to the submarine, the Kosatka, if you want to spawn here after you reload into the game faster so you can do more heists quicker. Of course, your teammate want, might want to just host back to you so you get the money as the host later. So that's what, something you might consider doing as well. But thank you for watching. See you next time. Take care, everyone.